Hello and thank you for joining us again for another example here on Orgo Chem World. Um, today I'm going to do a homework problem and fast forward quite a bit from where we are in the lessons that I've been doing online. Um, and this is just like one of my homework problems for Organic Chemistry 2. And I thought it was interesting. This is a Friedel Crafts um, alkylation. Um, and in this particular case we get a carbocation rearrangement. Alright, so I'm just going to show you the stepwise mechanism uh, so that we can get an idea for how the electrons are going to be moving throughout the system. Okay, so we start out and this is going to be our alkyl group here that we're going to be dealing with. So what's going to happen at the start is that these free electrons are going to go and attach to the um, aluminum and from this point on until we use the benzene ring again we're just going to leave it here uh, over here and we're just going to mess with this uh, ring right now Okay. sorry for my horrible hexagons okay so what's going to happen here is that our free electrons are going to bind with the aluminum this Cl will have a po positive charge and this aluminum will not have a negative charge. Now um, to get rid of those charges uh, this uh, this group is not going to leave entirely. So what we get here oops, alright I'm sorry for my hideous hexagons. Alright, so now we get that. And we have plus ALCL4. And do not forget the charge. Okay. Alright, um, so now we have our carbocation. And this is actually where we're going to get the arrangement, rearrangement. We have this hydrogen group sticking off there. And so what it's going to do is move to this spot so that we can create a 3' prime carbocation. Okay. Alright, now this is where we can uh, begin with our alkylation. Now we go back and we see that we have a benzene ring. Okay. And we have our 3' prime carbocation. So what I'm actually going to do is kind of flip this on its side so that it looks a little better. Whoops, that doesn't look much better at all. Okay. And so we have that positive charge on that carbon. Alright. And we have this benzene ring. Oh my goodness. Whoops. Alright, and so in this case, uh, one of these electrons is going to go over here and bind where that positive charge is. Um, positive charge up there. Alright, and it's very important that we keep track of our charges because um, as you can see here, there will be another carbocation uh, rearrangement with this group of electrons to this top bond here. And so um, it's not really that big of a deal with this problem because actually in my book we have a, an answer that we're trying to get to basically for this certain step, but um, the carbocation rearrangement can affect your uh, outcomes. Okay, and so now we have our uh, carbocation. Uh, we're just going to leave it on this position because uh, what, of what we're trying to form. And when we deprotonate, uh, it's going to leave the electrons behind. So if we know, oh, we still know that we have this hydrogen here sticking off. Alright, so now what's going to happen is we still have this AlCl4, but uh, I'm going to draw it differently so that we can see what's actually happening. 
Oops, that's supposed to be three. So this is supposed to be a three here. Alright, and we still have these lone pairs out here. But what's going to happen is that uh, these electrons here are going to come over. Oh, and this is an overall negative charge, so we'll put the negative out here. And deprotonate that uh, hydrogen. And what then will happen is that this hydrogen will leave its electrons behind and create uh, that double bond, restoring the benzene ring. And so we'll get something like this. And this is what we were supposed to synthesize in my book, plus HCl. Um, as you can see, uh, this is way far along the road from where we are in the video series, but um, this is just an example of what you can see, uh, like how you can watch the, uh, the electrons m moving throughout the molecule, and uh, how important it is to understand how to do carbocations and their rearrangements and resonance structures and things of that nature because I mean even at this point right here uh, if you look closely you'll see that you get another uh, rearrangement there you don't just have one product because the, uh, the electrons here can actually move over which will give you the positive charge out here and you end up with those two and uh, what can happen is uh, is that, uh, sorry, you still get you still have this hydrogen there but uh, when you deprotonate it uh, you have nowhere to bond to because you still have these hydrogens out here. So uh, those are just really important to watch for and um, we'll get to resonance structures and carbocations and stuff in the actual video series that we're continuing to do. Alright, well there's your example problem for the day. See you guys later. Bye.